Hi, this is Gabe with FluentForever.com. I wanted to talk about some of the Anki add-ons I use when studying Japanese, since they save me time every time I make a flashcard, which after thousands of flashcards becomes really, really valuable. So the first one I want to talk about is Kanji Colorizer. This basically saves me the step of having to go find a stroke order diagram for any kanji I'm learning. So the first, we'll need to find it and install it. So open up Anki, you'll go to Tools, to Add-ons, to Browse and Install. Now, Anki's add-on system requires that you type in a code, and so you need to find the code for that add-on. Um, if you hit the Browse button, it will load the add-ons page of Anki, which is this huge list of every add-on anyone has ever made for Anki. Um, the simplest way to sort of find your way through this is by searching, and so you can go to uh, File, Edit, to Find, to Find, uh, and find Colorizer. And you'll find it around, I don't know, a fifth of the way down the page, this thing called Kanji Colorizer. Uh, it has 21 ratings of four and a half stars. And if you hit Info and scroll down a bit, um, you will find that there is a download code. And so you can double click this code, copy it, Command C on a Mac, go over to this code thing, paste that code, Command V on a Mac, and hit OK. And then it will start to download. This will take a little while, and so we'll come back once it's done. Okay, so we've successfully downloaded this file, and so now it's going to tell you to restart Anki. And so we'll do just that. We're going to quit Anki, open it back up. I will open up the profile I was using, and now we're back. So, um, the way this program works by default is this. Basically, um, when you add uh, a card, um, it looks for a model, a card model, that has the word Japanese in it. And so you need something that has the word Japanese in the model. In this case, we're, I copied one of the basic card models and just stuck the word Japanese in front. Uh, and so we're going to use that. And then what it does is it looks for some field called kanji. It has to be called kanji at first. I'll show you how to change this later. Um, and then if you type kanji here, uh, then it will spit out a stroke order diagram that has color in it. And so, uh, for instance, let's put, um, I don't know, watashi. And as soon as you put this kanji in, it spits out this kind of beautiful colored, numbered stroke order diagram, uh, which is some of the best I've seen online. Even if I had to look this up on a website, I would want this because it's so compact. Um, and yet I don't need to look it up online. I can just write whatever I want. Um, also, if you st stick in something more complicated, um, let's say ongakuka, uh, musician, ongakuka then you will get three stroke order diagrams. And these diagrams are images, which means that you can cut and copy and paste them into new the fields, and they will work just fine, even in AnkiWeb and every other platform. So this is a super useful thing to have in your card models. The only issue is that what happens when you have a card model that doesn't have this exact word here and this exact word there? Well, two options. One, you can add those fields, uh, or you can customize this plugin. And so we're going to do that. Um, the card model I tend to use for Japanese is this giant beast of a thing. Um, it looks like this. It has 24 fields. Uh, and the kanji word goes up in the very, very top, and the field is not called kanji. The field is called word in kanji hanzi. Um, and so I need to make this look for kanji in this field. Uh, and then where I want to stick it, I want to stick that information into stroke order diagram 1. And we'll go through this giant model thing later. Uh, right now, this is just a good example for how do you customize this add-on to fit whatever card model you're using. Uh, and so for this particular card model, I want it to look for kanji up here in Word, in kanji hanzi, and spit out the diagram into this field here, stroke order diagram 1. And so to do that, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to, yes, lose current input. We're going to go up to Tools, to Add-ons, to the kanji colorizer, and then we're going to edit it. And when we do this, we're going to see all sorts of code. And the code's actually pretty well marked, but it's code. And so it's often scary for people, uh, for me too. Uh, and the thing you're looking for actually is it's going to say end configuration. And then you start looking. You say from, 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 import, blah, blah, blah. Source field, kanji, destination field, diagram. And that's exactly what we're looking for to customize this plugin to fit whatever model we want to use. And so for my model, um, I want this not to say kanji, but I want it to say word. Oops, <laughs> not in hiragana. Word in kanji, hanzi. 
that's the field name I'm using in my card model. And so I wanted to look in that field for any kanji and spit out a colored diagram, not in the field called diagram, but the field called stroke order diagram one. And so now this plugin is sort of customized to my particular Japanese card model. And so you can actually change these fields to match whatever you want it to match. Uh, when you save, it will say, okay, everything's fine, please restart Anki again. And so we'll do that. And we'll open it back up. We'll open up my Japanese test. And so now I'm gonna add a card and hopefully, if all goes well, then uh, this will work. Um, one of the things to note, note that this card model says Japanese sentence cards. It needs to say Japanese somewhere in the card model, uh, and this one does. If this was just sentence cards with kanji, it would not work. Uh, there's a way to customize that too, but I figure if you're going to be using this, you're going to be using it for a Japanese card model, and this is easier to change your card model type, uh, name rather, uh, than messing around with the code. Um, so we'll type in ongakuka and blam, it gets dumped out over here. Uh, and since, again, these are images, I can cut and paste them. And so I can run around and paste these into various spots. This is stroke order diagram two, this is stroke order diagram three, and now I have stroke order diagrams at every place I want. Um, one thing to note, um, if I write stuff in this field, like uh, notes, notes, uh, this is standing plus sun, you know, because this thing up here is the standing kanji and this is the sun kanji. Um, if I have a note right here and then later I go back to this field and, for instance, mess with it, let's say I type a space and then go out of here, it's going to replace everything in this field with those three kanji. And so you can't actually use this field for anything other than stroke order diagrams. Uh, and so what I recommend actually is having a different field if you want to add more information. So for my stroke order diagram one, I have another field for talking about it. So I'll put like sun, uh, or rather stand sun over here to help me parse these different chunks of the, of the kanji. Um, that is it uh, for this tutorial. We're going to go through and keep adding add-ons to uh, make your Japanese deck go faster when you're making flashcards. That's all. Talk to you next time.